everyone, we are Sandy and Trevor Giles and uh, we've been asked to speak at the next RPA meeting um, about our investment um, portfolio and just how we've come about that. Um, at the moment most of our uh, investments are in the city in apartments and uh, we're now looking at doing some work out in the suburbs as well. Just bought our first um, suburban apartment, uh, unit, sorry. Um, we did initially have um, two investment properties, one was in Takanini and um, about six years ago we sold that and um, decided we would be bringing our money into the city because it was much better cash flow in the apartment market. Um, however, we were really busily um, entrenched in our business at that point in time and we didn't have time to actually go out there and look for properties which as you all know takes some time. Um, anyway, we got to a stage um, where we sold our business and that was in March 2010 and decided that we were going to really um, go hard at getting a portfolio together for our true retirement. So that's when we started our acquisitions and that's what we'll be talking to you about um, further as to just how we went about that and what kind of properties we looked for and how we um, achieved good cash flow and higher returns. And um, along that time as well, we were always um, part of the apartment market, really. That was what our business was, was property management for apartments only. And um, we also lived in apartments, as so we invest in apartments, and so we knew a lot about that side of it. Um, and at the same time, we were building managers in the apartment we actually live in. And that's where Trevor has kind of followed um, his passion and followed through with the building management role and has developed that further now that we've got more time out of the um, other business we were in. So, so I'm going to start talking about uh, some of the tools that we, we put together to help purchase property um, and then look at the, the building management role and how building managers and apartments and body corporates work together um, and what you can expect from your building manager and your body corporate under the new regulations and the new act that came into play um, in 2010. Um, we'll also have a look at uh, some of the tools that I'm developing for building management to make that role work better and uh, help report back to owners and, um, and body corporates to, uh, to show uh, expenses and day-to-day uh, -day maintenance that's being done in the buildings. So that's my role.